Greetings friend, Tim Lake here from Smart Hobbies. Today I'm going to give you the strategies you need to solve medium strength Sudoku puzzles. Even though I call these medium strategies, they'll actually help you solve more than 80% of all the Sudoku puzzles you'll find in newspapers, books, or magazines. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to this channel, click the bell for notifications so you don't miss any new videos. Now, let's get started. In my Solving Easy Sudoku videos, I explained the three strategies needed to solve easy puzzles. Those strategies were the hidden single, the naked single, and the naked pair. If you haven't watched those videos, then I suggest you review those first and then come back here. In addition to the hidden single, the naked single, and the naked pair, I'll show you four new strategies in order to complete puzzles of medium or even hard difficulty level. Those strategies are as follows. The pointing pair, the claiming pair, the hidden pair, and the naked triple. Let's go over some new terminology first before I demonstrate these strategies. First, when I use the term house, I'm referring to either a row, column, or block. Any of these can be called a house. Any cell in Sudoku puzzle is a member of three different houses, the row, the column, or the block. For example, let's look at this 7. This 7 is in row 9. It's also a member of column 1, so the house column 1. And it's also a member of block 7. So this 7 can be in either, any of those three houses. Column 1, row 9, or block 7. Second, when I say that candidates are locked, then that means they have two houses in common. They share either the same row and block or the same column and block. Locked candidates are quite valuable because they help us eliminate other candidates from either the block, column, or row that they share. Now, let's talk about each strategy individually. Number one, the pointing pair. A pointing pair occurs when there are only two of the same candidate remaining within the same block and they are both confined to the same row or column. When this happens, that candidate cannot be the solution to any other cell in that row or column. For example, let's look at the eights and how they affect block eight of this puzzle. Notice that an eight can only be in these two spots. Since they're confined to the same column and the only two possibilities remaining in block, the eights are a pointing pair. They cannot be here or here. So the eights are going to be pair. What this means is that we eliminate eight from all the other cells in column six. This cannot be an eight, and this cannot be an eight. Keep that in mind as I show you the next strategy. Something else I want you to keep in mind, these eights, since they appear in both column six and block eight, they are locked candidates. Number two, the hidden pair. The hidden pair are two different candidates that can only be the solution to two cells in a row, column, or block. The difference between a hidden pair and a naked pair is that a hidden pair will be hidden among other candidates in those two cells. When this happens, we can eliminate all the other candidates from those two cells. I'd like to make one other distinction. Naked and hidden pairs refer to a pair of two different candidates that work together, while a pointing pair, and as you'll see, the claiming pair refer to two of the same candidate. Apologize for the confusion, although I didn't come up with these names. So in our puzzle, let's put in all the candidates in the cells for row two. Six, seven, nine, 10, 9, go here. 
six, seven, nine go here. Two, three, five, seven, eight. Two, three, seven, nine. Now, if you remember, we said that these eights create a pointing pair. So we know we can eliminate the eight from row two, column six. So now let's look at the, the fives and eights. They only appear in columns three and five, but since they're hidden among other candidates, they make a hidden pair. Since they can only be in these two cells, no other candidate can be the solution to those cells. We can eliminate the other candidates from those two cells. So from here, we can remove the 2, the 3, and the 7. And from here, we can remove the 3, the 6, and the 9. And then what we find out, if we look across this row, that a 2 can only be left right here in row 2, column 2. So this 2 is a hidden single and it's solution to itself. Number three, the claiming pair. The claiming pair is defined as two of the same candidate that share a row or column but are confined to only one block. When this happens, we can eliminate that candidate from every other cell in the same block. Here's an example. So first, let's add in all the possible candidates for row five. This can be a five, six, eight, or nine. This can be a one, a five, or a nine. It's going to be a 1, a 5, a 6, or an 8. It's going to be a 1 or a 2. It's going to be a 2, 5, or a 9. 1, 2, 5, or 9. Now let's focus on column 8. Do you see where the 9s can be in column 8? So this cannot be a 9 because of the 9 here in row 7. And this cannot be a 9 because of a 9 here in row 1. So that's right. So actually, the only place for a 9 in column 8 is right here or here. And since it's confined to one block, then this is a claiming pair. So we can actually eliminate the 9s from the rest of the block. Keep that in mind as we dive into the last strategy. Number four, the naked triple. The naked triple is when three cells are in the same row, column, or block that have only the same three candidates as possible solutions. It is important to note that not all cells must contain all three candidates, but there must not be more than three candidates in the three cells altogether. When this happens, we can eliminate those three candidates from any other cells in the respective row, column, or block. So picking up from where we left off with the claiming pair, let's look again at the possible candidates for row 5. The candidates 1, 2, and 5 are only seen in these three cells. So there's no other candidates other than the 1, 2, or 5 here here or here. So that makes them a naked triple. So we can eliminate 1, 2, and 5 from the rest of the cells. And 
And once we do that, you notice we can solve this cell for a 9. And then we have a 6 and 8 naked pair for the rest of the row. Did all that make sense to you? Now, which of these have you seen before but didn't know the name? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like and subscribe. In my next video, I'll show you how to solve an entire puzzle using just the easy and medium strategies. In the meantime, you can check out some of my other videos here. Thank you so much for watching.